Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a LG V40 or a V30. I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror the smartphone to your Samsung Smart TV. It's very, very easy to do. Now, the first thing I wanna mention is the Wi-Fi on the phone and the Samsung TV needs to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Now, the thing is when screen mirroring to the Samsung TV, a lot of people think that you have to go into your settings. Uh, let me click on sources here. Like a lot of people think you need to go to this screen here, like remote access, it might say screen mirroring or something like that. This one here says uh, screen sharing. You don't have to do anything on the TV, okay? As a matter of fact, you can be anywhere. We can go ahead and play a Netflix movie. The thing is once we screen mirror it, the screen mirroring is gonna give it priority to whatever's on the TV currently, okay? So go ahead and grab your uh, V40 here and simply go ahead and you wanna scroll down just like that Again, the down arrow, scroll down again, and you wanna simply look for screen sharing. Now, this is the first time that I'm gonna be screen mirroring this LG V40 to this uh, Samsung TV, okay? So watch very carefully. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on screen sharing right there. And it says, wow, look at that. I found my Samsung 7 Series Smart TV right there already. So I'll simply just tap on that. And now it says connecting. Okay, so we get this that pops up up here, and every time, the first time that you connect your phone to the Samsung TV, you always get this message only one time. It says, uh, V40 ThinQ, your permission is required to connect your TV to this TV. I'll grab my remote, and I'll go ahead and click Enter to allow. And voila, we are in business. Now, what can we do from here? Well, everything, everything that is on the phone is going to be relayed to the TV exactly as it is. If I go ahead and turn my phone off, it's going to do the same thing to the TV. Let me go ahead and log back into my phone here. So if I'm looking at a browser, if I'm doing video conferencing, it does not matter. Everything is gonna show up on here. And I'll do a quick search. We'll just type in news here. And you can see all of this as well. All of our photos and videos as well. Most of you guys probably on here because you wanna be able to show your photos and videos to the big screen to your family or friends. So from here, I mean, we can go ahead and actually, you know what? Let me just go ahead and open up the camera here. I'll open up the camera here and we can get like a live feed. You can see my phone there. It looks exactly like the TV here. So let's go ahead and take a photo here. Let's take a photo. Let me go down here. I'll take a photo of the remote right here. And let's go ahead and take a video and I'll replay this as well, okay? So testing, one, two, three, testing. One, two, three, four. And let me go ahead and stop it. And let's go ahead and replay that footage. Just go directly into my photos gallery right here. And we'll take a look at that video or the photo first that I just took. You can see that right there. And then let's go ahead and look at the video. Here's another photo I took. Wow, look at that. This is a 4K uh, Samsung TV too, so the image is actually pretty good let's go ahead and go to that video here here's the video right here and we're going to go ahead and play this now the thing is remember uh when i go ahead and play it the sound the audio the volume is going to come out from the tv not from the phone okay okay it's actually playing right now and i'll go ahead and raise the volume from my phone one two three four testing but remember one, the volume two, is coming out from the actual TV. So there you guys go. I hope that helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions or have any issues or anything, uh, just let me know and I hope you guys out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.